Microsoft Viva Goals. So what is Viva Goals? Now, Viva Goals is an employee experience platform that empowers people to achieve success at work. Now, it does this by aligning and tracking progress of uh, specific targeted goals um, against realistic uh, goals and achievements while celebrating achievements and growing out skills of each employee along the way. It brings together communications, knowledge, learning, and insights from across the employee experience all into one place. Viva Goals gives you more insight into what you need to do next to reach your goals. All of your goals can be tracked, whether it be career goals or even personal achievements. It will also help you identify opportunities for growth as well as celebrate achievements with others. Microsoft Viva Goals is a tool that enables you to set goals for your company and then track them at different levels. It's easy to use, simple to understand, and can be used on any device. You can set, so set one or many goals at one time and give them different milestones for each one, uh, and then set deadlines for when those goals should be achieved. Microsoft Viva Goals keeps track of how well you're doing um, in meeting your specific targets related to yourself, your department's kind of goals, as well as the overall company goals. So let's take a look. So the way that Microsoft Viva Goals works is um, it's based on essentially setting what you know as OKRs. OKRs are objectives and key results. OKRs help you to focus on what matters most to your organization and they help define what success truly looks like. Your company has business goals, but individuals have personal ones as well. To meet both needs simultaneously, you can set SMART ta uh, tasks. So SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable or achievable, some people would say, um, and then relevant. Uh, and, and these are basically then uh, or also T for time, so time bound. Um, so these are ob uh, objectives that align with your overall company's goals. So the very first thing that you need to do is actually look at um, actually setting uh, company goals. Now, we've, we've just set a, a bunch of um, sort of demo um, uh, OKRs here set up for our, our demo Valto tenancy here. But you can see these could be all sorts of different company high-level goals. They could be, uh, for example, going through a rebranding project. They could be around um, uh, sort of management uh, team training or um, a growth mindset or um, different things like that, things that you want to be able to achieve at a high level as, a, as an overall company. Now, the OKRs are set at a company level, but they can also then be set at department level and then team level and then actual employee level. So the, the task from a company level might be, say, for example, to double the revenue. And then within a department like marketing, it might be, OK, well, we need to grow our leads by um, double. So how do we actually achieve that? So what's some smart, some specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time specific tasks that we can give to our departments to work that out? So it might be, for example, we need to grow our YouTube channel uh, by an extra 10,000 uh, subscribers this year or something like that. So that's something that's very specific. It's measurable, um, it's achievable, and it's relevant to the task. And then we could say it's time-based, so it's within the next year. Then we can then say, okay, well, that's our company goal is to double our revenue. The uh, department, the marketing department's um, task specific to that goal is to uh, increase YouTube subscribers by 10,000 in the next year. And then you would look at then specific tasks for individuals. So the individual tasks then would be set, say, for example, uh, maybe we need to have a video posted uh, once a week or something like that, which averages out for a month. Uh, and then that becomes our smart goal specifically then for um, that, that particular task. So that's how it kind of rolls down. So we can then go into our own um, sort of OKRs. So if I go into my, my uh, OKRs area, you can then see um, we can then break this down again, just some example ones in here. Um, so it might be, for example, under the creative team goals. Um, I could break this out then for specific areas again. So you can see you can have um, an overall kind of goal grouping of OKRs, which can then have sub areas within it. So for example, underneath here, um, I could then have content creation. And then within here, I've got create a content calendar or under uh, social media, 
Um, I've got then some subtasks for setting up a TikTok account, Instagram accounts, YouTube accounts, Hootsuite, all the different things potentially that I would be doing um, to achieve this particular set of goals. The tasks then, um, as I say, um, are set against a time. Um, so for it to be a smart goal, it needs to be set against a time frame. Now, typically with Viva goals, it runs on kind of quarters of the year. So you could say, well, this is achievable in Q1 of the, the, the year or Q2 or Q3 or Q, Q4. And then when you actually then create that task, you can then um, have check-ins. Now, check-ins are essentially ways of saying how you're getting on with that particular task. So rather than waiting to the right at the very end of the year um, to come back in and say, OK, well, I've completed these six, but these four are still not complete. We can actually then use a slider to say um, what potential uh, percentage complete we are and then click on check in and that'll then give a, a kind of date and time stamp um, that actually um, we, we've checked in on this particular task to say where it's up to. It's really easy to add new ob objectives as well um, by clicking this add objective button across the top. We can create new uh, tasks in here and we can specify uh, a number of different things um, including when it's due, um, if there's any sort of delegates, um, any sort of permission, so who can actually view and see this task. Um, and we can choose to add this into multiple groupings of task areas as well. Tasks can also have a bulk check-in as well. So if you know, for example, 10 of the tasks which are relating to an overall grouping of tasks are all 50% complete, we can use a bulk check-in option to say, yeah, all these uh, 10 tasks are actually 50% of the way through completion. We can also see things like dashboards, so we can roll things up, so key updates which have been happening recently, progress over time, so you can see graphs and charts and things like that, um, burn downs as you're kind of working through these different areas. So that's basically um, Viva goals. Um, it's all about creating tasks and then tracking them um, throughout time. So as a reminder, um, basically what you want to be doing is making sure that you're starting off with creating your goals at a company level um, because that's that's basically what you want to achieve, the, the high level. And then you can look at drilling down into lower areas of departments and teams, which then finally give you your kind of um, tasks at the end for your actual employees. Um, and that all helps in terms of their kind of personal development, the team and department development, and then hitting the overall company goals.